Hi, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here, and welcome to my beginner guitar course video lesson series here on YouTube. Now, in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about how to hold the guitar properly. Now, as I talk about these things, if you do something a little bit different than me, it's perfectly fine. Okay, but I'm just going to give you some general tips and ideas to think about as we keep going through this. Now, if you've just stumbled upon this video, I want you to know that there's a whole training series uh, in chronological order that you can look at in a, a link below that brings you to the playlist for this. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, basically what I try and teach people is when you when you first hold a guitar, and I'm going to be using the acoustic guitar, um, you, and I'm going to be running through this amplifier, this Hughes and Kentner amplifier over here. But if you use an electric guitar, it's just fine, okay? Uh, the Things might change a little bit for an electric because an electric guitar, the body is quite a bit thinner than an acoustic guitar. But the idea is the same. So basically what we have is we have three points of pressure when we're holding on to the guitar. And what I want you to notice first is that I'm playing... I'm strumming with my right hand and I'm going to be making things, you know, chords and different things with my left hand. So my guitar is sitting on my right leg. Now, sometimes when you watch people play, like if you watch a classical guitar player, sometimes they're gonna put it on their left leg. But when we play traditional acoustic guitar like this or folk guitar, we tend to put the guitar on the right leg because it centralizes the guitar more toward our body. You'll notice if I put it on my left leg, it tends to stick out quite a bit. Now, if you have a friend or somebody that plays on the other leg, it's just fine. I'm just showing you traditionally how this works. So now what I'm going to do is with that guitar on my body, just like this, I'm going to lay it flat on my leg and I'm going to pull that body all the way up to my stomach. I'm going to pull it up as far as I can. This is going to help me in a couple of different ways. Um, number one, I don't want to turn the guitar like this. As much as when we first start playing, we want to see what we're doing. It's a bad habit to get used to turning the guitar like this. Um, if you were going to play standing up, you wouldn't be able to do this anyway. So what we want to do is just pull that all the way up. I'm sitting up straight, okay? And then what's going to happen is this arm is going to come across here, right over the top here. So you can see how I'm kind of situating my arm so I can strum right over this sound hole. Now, you might be a little taller than me or a little shorter than me, and you might have to make some adjustments, but that's the basic idea. So I'm putting it on my leg, I'm pulling it up to my body, and I'm bringing my arm over so I can strum. So between these three points, my leg, my stomach, or my chest, and my arm, I can pull the guitar into my body. And what I want you to notice here, I'm gonna turn my body just a little bit. If I pull in my arm just a little bit, the neck actually comes out a little. And that's a benefit for me and for a lot of guitar players, because if I pull it out just a little bit, this neck out, it's a little bit easier for me to reach and to play. Okay. The other thing I want you to notice is that the guitar neck is up a little bit. The guitar neck isn't sitting down like this. That makes it very difficult to play. So I've got the guitar neck turned just a little bit up towards the uh, the ceiling, just a little bit. You can adjust that as needed. Okay. I'm pulling that guitar in just a little bit. And now the guitar is sitting nice and secure between my leg, my stomach or my chest, and my arm. So I'm ready to play. So that's the first part on how to hold the guitar effectively. Now, if you've got an electric guitar, it's going to be a lot thinner and you're going to get to that point. Your, your arm's going to have to come back quite a bit more to kind of brace it into those three spots. Now, last thing, because I don't want to bore you with this, but the last thing is, is that if your leg for some reason is sitting at a bit of a downward position, the guitar is going to want to fall down. So oftentimes if you're sitting in a chair, which I can't show you right now, but if I was to put my leg on one of the uh, little braces on the chair, it elevates my, my, um, my leg. And now this can sit even tighter in this position and it's going to move even less. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll set my leg on that, the little, you know, wheel section of my chair, or, you know, you might have a little footstool or something like that, that, that secures this a little more, elevates the guitar a little bit higher up, which makes it a little bit easier to play too. So just different things like that to think about. So please do me a favor, like this video, share this video, share the playlist with somebody if you think you can, um, if there's somebody out there that you know that, that could use, uh, use this video series. And also there's a link below in the description where you can get some free training from me, a free course from me. Um, so please go ahead and check that out as well.